Hello Libra, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. Just a quick heads up for those of you who did enjoy my collective readings and pick a card. I have now made a new second channel for those types of readings. So if you are interested in those, the link is in the description box below for that channel. Feel free to subscribe and enjoy. Let's see what's going on with you in love, Libra. What are the love messages for Libra when it comes to love? Money versus love. Some of you are busy, 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 or this could be your person, but work-related situations, financial-related situations are kind of affecting your relationship. We have passion here. We have synchronicity. We have forgiveness. So there will be forgiveness for the time apart, I guess. Pay attention to the synchronicities. There's definitely some kind of message for you. I am seeing 777 seven, seven in my head. And fours as well. This is 44 as well, by the way. So fours and sevens, but it doesn't have to be that. That's just what I'm seeing. What are the love messages for Libra? Forgiving and learning, as you forgive, sorry, not as you forgive, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So this forgiveness card relates to that. There may be some past situation that is still kind of affecting you emotionally. Something someone did to you in the past. We have let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. We have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. And we have separation, time apart from your partners on the horizon. I do feel like this has to do with someone's career. Someone's job is quite demanding. Someone is having to put in extra hours or extra effort into their business. Let's see. The person that Libra is dealing with currently, what's their energy towards Libra? Six of Wands. This person really really admires this connection between the both of you they do feel like it's worth a chance it's worth continuing let's see they could be an aquarius for some of you but this person seems to be dealing with financial issues they do have the five of pentacles so yeah it could be a thing where they've had to put more energy into their career than the relationship I do see this being a temporary thing. I just see them trying to come up with something or some way or some new creative way to make money to secure themselves in life. Okay, so what's Libra's energy towards their person? Okay, Libra, you feel kind of, you may be feeling betrayed. You may be feeling like, okay, this person has no time for me. It could be vice versa if the whole story is vice versa, but. They, they could be a Libra. Sorry. I, I always confuse Libra and Leo. Like I tried to say Leo and Libra comes out. They could be a Leo with the strength card. But I do see that you are definitely wanting to continue a relationship. You are wanting more intimacy, more time with your person. But Libra, I am seeing that some of you, maybe not all of you, but some of you do enjoy the finer things in life. Okay, you do like to have financial stability and maybe this person wants to be able to provide that or, you know, they just want to kind of make sure that they're good financially. So what's the mutual energy here? Two of Cups. Look at that. The lovers. Two of Cups, Wheel of Fortune. This is amazing energy. This is both of you feeling this connection. There's going to be positive change. I feel like this is just a little setback here with the whole money situation. That's all. That's life. Maybe it's to do with the way the world is going right now. It's just circumstances, but it's really not major for you because as long as, I mean, love conquers all. So as long as your person is still in love with you, yeah, they have to spend some time away, but everything is good. What's this person's next action towards Libra? 
They are feeling very hurt about not being able to spend time. This person may ask for forgiveness, they may apologize. But they, if they are having to go away for work or not able to spend time with you, they are really affected by this. This is not something they want to do. What's coming up in the near future for Libra when it comes to love? Oh my God, look at that though. Ten of Pentacles. Financial security, stability, completion. This person, they're trying to make, they're trying to have some kind of new business, start some new business, or, or have some new income. And they don't. Some of you, it could be you who doesn't really know what to expect, but this person is really working on it. And again, it could be vice versa. Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces. But there is this energy of, yeah, Queen of Pentacles. You see all these pentacles showing up? It's because of the financial situation. They're trying to correct it. Queen of Pentacles, nurturing energy, stability. Capricorn energy. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. But this person is taking some risks in business. And they're trying to have this new income, this new life. Financially. So it's like making sacrifices for future security, for a comfortable life in the future, the near future. So let me look at your main spread here. Okay. What is going on with Libra? When it comes to love, the person that they are connected to, what's going on? Their feelings. This is a lot okay they could we got the pisces energy again we got gemini and capricorn so first we have the eight of swords you got your person here feeling stuck looking for a way out of their situation and i see that their wish is the three of swords they do want to feel better they don't want to feel the sadness they want to heal they are fearful of change here this person may be going through a really scary process this is very confusing what's blocking is the amount of thinking that this person has to do they're having to like pull away give something a lot of thought and i'm having a hard time trying to figure out if it's, if this is to do with the relationship or their own financial situation so wow hold on a sec hold on a sec why the eight of wands in reverse some of you may have stopped communicating with this person eight of swords again look at that Some of you may have stopped um, communicating with them because you may feel abandoned or left out. Some of you, or you're soon to do this because they're seeing they're they're seeing you as the eight of wands in reverse. So they're seeing you as not taking action towards them, possibly even not communicating with them. So unless this is vice versa, it, I'm seeing that you got you kind of got fed up here. Why the fall in reverse? Four upright. So this person, they have so much going on that they are fearful of taking a leap based on their emotions. They're fearful of acting on their emotions. So they're in love with you, but they don't want to 
you know, put all their energy into the relationship when they have so much going on financially. So again, it's like making that sacrifice to, to release this burden first and then have the luxury of just, you know, spending time with you. Why the moon in reverse? The way they're seeing the relationship right now is that they don't know where it's leading because of what they're going through. They know that there's a lot of changes happening. They know that there's potential for an exciting new beginning should they get their financial situation on, you know, under control. Then they know that they can run off into the sunset with you. <laughs> but as long as they're in the unknown, they kind of have to just wait and see. They are hoping for a positive outcome. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo or a Scorpio. Why the tower in reverse? Five of swords. Eleven, eleven on the clock. Not only was it eleven, eleven on the clock, but it was just eleven minutes. Eleven, eleven minutes of the video. So there, you, there's, there's that. How about that for synchronicity? Um, something major is going on here but strength um leo energy this person is fighting like they are trying to rebuild something i don't know if it's like their business has collapsed or something but they're fighting to rebuild it and they're having to be strong and make sacrifices some people i'm, I'm hearing that for some of you if you have a if your person has a business um, or you, someone's having to fire people. I'm hearing that. I, I don't know why, but let me see. Why the three of swords in reverse? Yeah, this person is trying to come back from a major tower moment. Something, some major change that has affected their life a lot. They're trying to keep everything under control. They could be an Aries for some of you. We got Pisces again, but this moon card keeps showing up. Libra, this moon card, I mean, this person is dealing with stuff that they just can't see the light at the end of the tunnel yet. So they're just having to just fight through. And for some of you, they don't have you on their side anymore because some of you have checked out thinking that this person just doesn't have time for you. I know not all of you have, but some of you have. We have the lovers here in reverse. Why is the lovers here in reverse? So some of this, some of you, this person is facing the end of this connection. Again, if you have walked away, they are feeling a sense of loss. Like this person is going through major, major loss here. Or you, if it's vice versa. All to try and keep everything together. Trying to make their wishes a reality. Trying to bring everything into reality. Everything they want, everything they desire, stability and everything, and it all comes crumbling down. And they're having to rebuild. So, why the devil? Why is the devil here? Oh my gosh. This person has, this person's fighting a war. Like, is this a, is this a soldier? Because, <laughs> I mean, in the position of what you know, you what you need to know is the devil. It's either this person is fighting against a lot of devilish type of people who are like coming for them and their business and their their everything that they've built or something, because they're having to fight and be cautious. This could be you also if it's vice versa, but somebody in this connection is having to. Defend everything they've worked for. Why the Seven of Wands as the outcome? Wow. It all goes back to this Ten of Pentacles. This is like, I feel like this is the outcome where this person finally gets together. They finally get that stability and the home is nice and peaceful, especially if you guys have kids together. This is like a whole family situation and then them just asking you for forgiveness at the end of all of this. You know, them coming at you with an apology for the chaos. 
What are the love messages for Libra? Destiny's Child saying my name. So some of you have been suspicious of what this person's been doing. We have submissive. This person may have had to submit to a boss for a long time. Maybe they're trying to leave that job or stop working for people and start working for themselves and having to make sacrifices for their new business. We have health matters. We have a Bronx tale. We have to be loved, equal excitement regarding a love connection. This looks like a tale of unfortunate events, but a love story that makes it through. I mean, this person is going through hell. And, and underneath all of that, they still have this relationship in mind. This actually reminds me of a reading that I did on my other channel that I just posted. Not to like promote it or anything, but it, it, it looks very similar to one I did that I just posted on the other channel. Let me get some more messages for you. We have yes for now. The universe is on it, very possible, and it will come to you. So these are all positive cards here. I feel like everything is gonna work out. It's just like, just like one of those movies where it's all chaotic and it just looks, it looks like the, the, star, the star of the show is about to be defeated, but no, they actually make it through, <laughs> you know, those movies. This person is fighting. One more message for Libra. Wonder voyage, crossing deep waters, pilgrimage, journey of the soul. They're going through it. Beauty, grace, loveliness, integrity of form and spirit. This is like the Empress energy. We have yearning. Longing for someone, undesired separation and pinning. So this is some of you missing this person, but they're having to do what they have to do to make it work. We have endurance, keep going. So the good thing is that they're not giving up on this, you know, mission that they're on. The bad thing is they may have lost you in the process a little bit. I see them begging you for forgiveness, asking you to forgive them. But... When I look at honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. I see that ending, that whole, you know, finally getting to relax with the person, which is what they ultimately want. So I see that, but maybe you don't see it yet. Pay attention to the synchronicities. We did have that whole 11-11 situation, 11-11 on the clock and on the length of this video. How is this possible? I mean, it's one thing to see it on the clock, but then for a timer to match up with it is, I've never seen that. So I believe that this person is going through something and they will overcome and you will benefit from it, but we'll see. So this is what I'm seeing for you, Libra. I hope this was helpful for you. Feel free to check your other placements if you wanna know what else is going on. Also, feel free to check out the new channel if you're into those types of readings. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.